Yuma woman with ties to Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, spoke to us about what her thoughts are about this horrific tragedy. Gianella Giglino reports. Right now in Beirut, there is complete darkness. There is no electricity and many are having trouble contacting their family nearby and abroad. A local Yuma woman of Iranian descent says she worries for her family and friends. You never know how close it's going to get to my family, how good I still, still, I still have. I do have friends, in, not only in Iran, and also in, in the Middle East, and also in Beirut, where I have friends over there. You know, not, not my immediate family, but I have friends over there. And, and you know, I don't even know. I need to reach out to, like, to the Facebook or Instagram to reach out to them and see if they're okay. Really, because... Here we are, we're trying to make peace with each other and then things like that happen. The country has gone through decades of war and just a couple months ago, mass protests took over the streets of Lebanon known as the October Revolution, protesting a series of issues from climate change to full-scale rejection of the country's government. Still praying for my family over there and, and uh, you know, and to be honest with you, the last time I went to see my family, and I've been, I've been in the United States since 1980. Wow. I have not seen my family since 1989. Wow. I'm afraid to go back there. Uh, unfortunately, what happened is um, a true disaster. We do have in the community uh, many uh, Lebanese uh, individuals as well as families. And I've seen in the social media their posts uh, just uh, asking about uh, their family members in Beirut and making sure that uh, they are safe. Currently, the Lebanese Red Cross is on the ground helping the people. If you want to learn more about how you can donate, log on to our website, kymate.com. Reporting in El Centro, Genealogically, No News 11.